let's talk about the boolean data type here is the agenda of this video in this video we will learn about the boolean data type we will understand what is the difference in between system root boolean or the bool keyword that we generally use we will understand how to assign the values that is true and false to this boolean data type we will also learn how to assign the values by using an expression we will learn how to use the nullable boolean and at the last we will learn something interesting and we will learn how to create a custom alias for boolean or the system root boolean let's open the visual studio and work on a console application whatever we are learning over here in this console application everything is applicable in all the frameworks wherever c sharp is supported so this concept is specific to c sharp not to the console application it means if you are using the c sharp in web application then this concept will be applicable in the web application also similarly if you are using the c sharp in a mobile application or a gaming application then these concepts will be applicable over there here we are talking about the boolean data type let's remove this line first let's understand how to define a boolean data type to work with the boolean type we have to use the bool keyword and then we have to provide a name let's say it is my bool that's it this is how we can declare a boolean type in c sharp application now let's understand what is inside this bool keyword so if i right click on this one and choose this go to definition here you will see we are redirected to this boolean struct so it is a boolean and the namespace is system it means instead of using the bool keyword i can also use system dot boolean like this system dot boolean my bool2 so what is the difference in between bool and system dot boolean the main type in c sharp programming language is system dot boolean but bool is an alias for the system dot boolean so instead of writing this entire word you can simply use bool both of them are having the same meaning there is no difference in between them if you will assign the values let's say i'm assigning value my bool you will see we can assign true i can also assign false if i add a new line and write false this is also valid here i'm getting all these things from the intelligence of visual studio but if you do not want to use them you can type your code manually let's say i'm using this my bool too and here also i want to use this true you can see we are not getting any kind of error i can also assign false to this second variable see now let's say i want to display these values on the console screen how to do that like this i can use this console dot right line my bool this is the first variable let's say i want to display the second value also and here i will be using the second variable which is my bool too so what we are doing first we are declaring these two variables then we are assigning some values here we are assigning true and then again we are assigning false it means the current value in this boolean at this particular line is false at this particular line the value is true but here we are assigning false so it means it is false in the second variable first we are assigning true it means if i will use this particular variable at this line or after this line but before this one so i will get the true value but after this line we will get only the false value now let's run this application and let's see what is the output you can see we are getting false from both these statements okay now let's put a debugger over here so here i'm going to put a debugger at this particular line to put the debugger in visual studio you have to hover your mouse over here and once you will see this particular dot you can click over there and you will see a red dot now to run the program in the debug mode either you have to press f5 or you have to click on this particular button what we have over here we are having two variables this is my bool and this is my bool too here is one more very important learning you can see at this place we are not assigning any value but they still have some value so my bool has false this my bool too also has false value it means the default value of boolean is false if you are not assigning anything to the boolean then the default value is going to be false now let's run the execution from this one to the next line and for that either you can press f10 or you can use the button from this visual studio let's press the f10 button you can see we are in this next line at this point you will see the value of my bool is true even if you will hold your mouse over here you will see the value is true earlier it was false but now it is true now let's press the f10 button again and this time the my bool value is false because we are assigning false again to this particular type 
similarly we are doing this operation with this my bool 2 as of now this line has not been executed so we have the default value the default value is false let's press f10 button and this time it is true again we are making it false and here we are displaying the values on the console screen okay let's stop this execution you can also assign the values to this boolean while you are declaring it so for example if over here while i'm declaring it i want to assign true you can see it is working fine there is no particular error over here so there are two ways to work with the boolean type first is you can declare your variable and then you can assign the values second is you can declare your variable and you can also assign the values at the same time now let's understand one more very important point it is not always required to write only this true and false keyword instead of writing this true or false you can also write an expression over here let's remove this entire thing like this and over here i'm having only one variable which is my bool now we are putting true over here and if i display the value on the console screen you will see we are getting the proper output but instead of writing this true we can also write a condition over here what condition one equal equal one what will happen if i will write something like this there is a very important concept of single equal or double equal in c sharp application the single equal symbol is used to assign the values but the double equal is used to check the equality so what we are doing over here is first you are checking the equality by using this logic and what is the logic one equal equal one it means one is equals to one which is true so this my boolean will be true at this time let's run this application see we are getting true we were not writing true or false over here instead of we are writing an expression and still we are getting the value for example if i'm writing one equal equal to we know this is false right so what is the value of my bool this is going to be false false we are getting the output it is a very simple logic but this is not always the case for example if over here you are having a very long expression maybe you are having some link queries or you are having a complete expression or you are getting some values from a method so you can define all those values over here and based on that you can see the output at this place so remember we will not always use true or false we can also use some expressions and the output of that expression should be either true or false let's understand one more example over here let's say here i'm writing int int a it is 10 and here i'm writing int b it is 12 what will happen if i will write over here a equal equal b so what i'm doing at this place is i'm checking if a is equal equal b and i'm assigning that result in this my boolean so ideally this a and b both are not equal because its value is 10 and its value is 12 and we are assigning that logic over here so 10 equal equal 12 no this is false so we will get a false value at this particular place see we are getting false but if i'm making it 10 like this save the changes run this application again you will see this time we are getting true this is how you can work with the boolean type in csr application during the software development you will find some scenarios where you need to assign some null values to this boolean how to do that let's remove this particular thing from here and this one also now what i want is i want to assign null to this my boolean variable from the current learning i can only assign either true or false but no we can also assign null value to this my boolean how to do that for that particular logic we have to use a question mark how like this so what i'm doing is after this bool i am putting a question mark and now i can assign null put an equal symbol and i can assign null it will work but if i'm removing this question mark and try to assign the null value you will see we are getting the error if i run this application this time you will see we are getting the errors there were some build errors and here is a complete error list cannot convert null to boolean we cannot assign null to boolean until it is unnullable to mark it nullable we can use the question mark like this now if you are making it nullable it means it can work with null true or false in the next line i can also assign my bool is equal to true or i can also assign my bool is equals to false this is how we can work with the nullable boolean now let's talk more about this bool keyword 
this bool is an alias for system dot boolean the main type is system dot boolean but because that is a long word and if you are using that system dot boolean every time then the readability of the program will not be very good can i create my custom alias for the c sharp types yes i can how to do that before this class over here either at this particular place or on top of everything over here i can write using my custom name for example i want to use nitis instead of using this boolean see and i want to assign the value of system dot boolean so what i'm doing over here is i am creating a new alias for this system dot boolean so now i can use this boolean or i can also use this nitis for this particular type so let's remove this bool and simply use nitis it will work and let's remove this question mark also what we have over here we are having this my boolean of type nitis but what is nitis if i hold my mouse you will see it is a type of system dot boolean and i can only assign either true or false if i try to assign something else for example one two you will see we are getting the error this time i can only assign either true or false we generally don't define the custom alias for these data types we always use the predefined alias which is the bool keyword but here because this is a concept and a learning so this is how we can work with this one instead of writing this line over here you can also write it at this place and you can use it in the same way it will work also boolean is one of the most used data type in c sharp application that is all in this video thank you for watching